Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will configure the NAT policy on the Master48 in order to have internet connectivity on the LAN PC going upstream. So let's use now the graphical user interface. I will uh, just log in with admin and node password like before. And we will navigate once the, the GUI loads to the settings, system settings, something like that. But we'll see, it's self-explanatory. You will see in just a moment. So let's go to system. System, so this is the HA where we will configure the high availability cluster. No, it's here in the policy and objects. So click on policy and objects. Then go to IPv4 policy. This is the IPv4 policy that will help us translate basically from um, private IP addressing to public IP addressing going forward on the internet. So again, IPv4 policy. And by default, you will see that there is a deny all policy. So it's implicit. And if I click on it, it says implicit, implicit deny from uh, coming from anywhere, going to anywhere, always action deny. Now the log is disabled. We will have to create a new one. So I'll click this button, create new. And first thing I have to define is the name. So let's say NAT LAN NAT policy. I will make it all capitals, so policy. Now, what's the incoming interface, the traffic is coming from? And if you just hover over the port 1, 2, 3 and 4, you will see also the IP address. So if you don't remember exactly or forget what's the, what's the port, the LAN port, you will see also the IPv4 address. So our incoming interface is port 2 and the traffic is going uh, outbound to, on port 1. We will now have to define source. So clicking on the plus sign, you will have here the available options. Now we have to define some, uh, some new object here. We could use the all option, meaning all traffic coming from port one going uh, outbound on port, uh, on port, uh, from port two for, to port one. But the best way is to make it, um, make it exact. So I'll create a new address. And the reason behind all this, it's, uh, uh, it's implemented to most, if not all of the vendors, is this one. So let's say you have a, a long configuration on your, on your uh, equipment. And let's suppose that you have 100 places where you have your IP, um, IPv4 LAN address defined. If at some point this LAN IP address or LAN subnet will change, you'd have to make 100 changes. On the other hand, if you use an object like we are defining now, it's, um, it will be uh, much more faster and easier. You will just have to define basically the change in the object where the object means a name with an IPv4 subnet assigned to it. And then the change will just propagate throughout all your configuration. So that's the main advantage. So we say LAN, I don't know, LAN inside. The type it's IP and netmask and I will define here this specific IP address. So 192.168.100.0 slash 24. It's coming from interface again, port two. And I will just click OK. So now in the list, we have also another option, a new one. And this is the LAN inside. I will just click it and it will be added here in the source field. Now, what's the destination? So where are we going? We are coming from the LAN inside and going where? Because we want to reach internet like anything, I will just select all here. The schedule, it's always, meaning um, the traffic will be translated from uh, Sunday to Saturday. So every, uh, every day of the week and any time, start time and end time means, uh, I mean, highlighted at zero means any time uh, in any day. And I will just want to translate what service, everything or specific like HTTP, like FTP traffic, TFTP and so on. So I will select all because I want just plain on 
plain old uh, internet access and if you see like here you will have uh, the NAT being being enabled and for the IP address on the outside I will use the outgoing interface address this means that if we now take a look on the FortiGate so I will log in into FortiGate1 admin and say show system interface and question mark this specific IP address 172.16.109.86 will be the IP address of the uh, translated traffic so every single um, uh, user on the LAN will reach internet by using this IP address everyone will be translated to a single IP address and that's of the uh, outgoing or outside interface address so let's see if there are any other important uh, important sets uh, setups here so security antivirus no very important I will enable this policy by default it's enabled and I will leave it this way and I will just click OK we can see now that we have two policies here so this is the sequence number this is one and two we have the implicit deny by default and now we also have a LAN NAT policy so if everything is okay users from the uh, from the inside LAN should now be able to reach internet so thank you for your time and I see you in the next lecture